help her. She's a vintage queen. Vintage queen? Mm-hmm. Salud, 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 salud. Why is your lipstick on this one? My lipstick's not on that one. Oh, maybe I took a sip from two. Dirty. Maybe I took a sip out of both of them. You don't salud, know. salud, salud. Bienvenidos. Welcome, welcome. Bienvenidos al, al, al wait, el Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> Let the ghetto bird go by real quick. Yeah. Then we'll get this beach story. Child, move me out the ghetto. Take me out. All right. Are you ready? Brat, brat. Brat. Coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You looking for me, you can find me at the spot. Chopping it up with Jonah, we talking about what's hot on the block. Up in Dago, man, we bumping. Uh, keeping it confidential, you know this how we coming, we in front. Uh, looking for that real, better tune in and stick by. Put on for the city every time that I dip by. Uh, getting to that greedy every time that we sit down. Promise you it's real every time that I get round. Come on. <laughs> Been in the field playing, we work. Welcome back, Barbershop Confidence of the Podcast. Your boy Jonah. You already know today we got a special guest. It's whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 easy. Not too much. Not easy, too much. My guy. Not too much. Easy. Let me say it. Let no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. She used hey. to be formerly known as my fiance. No more. No mas. No mas. Roberto Duran. She is now officially, legally. We got the print contract out. bound. We got the contract that looked like the birth certificate under the under the under the blessings of Jesus Christ Himself. <laughs> <laughs> I introduce you, Kathleen, my wife. Yeah. yeah. Insert. Ah. Ah. Welcome, welcome, my wife. Yeah, we so, are married. I mean, I think. Tron made a point though. Tron, shout out to Tron. I'm always shout, shout out, out to Tron. Tron. He's oh. always he's Tron's always dope as fuck. He's always yeah. chopping it up with us. But um, shout out to him. He said, you know what? You, even when you do become a wife, like I just think favorite fiance sticks. Favorite fiance? You still want to be the favorite fiance? Ah, uh, I don't know yet. But he said it kind of low key sticks. So <laughs> might be favorite fiance, wife, maybe whatever I feel like whenever I come on the pod again. You know? <laughs> well, welcome, babe. Welcome. Thank you for coming through. I know it's a long journey for you to get here. I know here. it's a very long journey from right there from from my <laughs> office workspace to here. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Buzz and Blossoms. Buzz and Blossoms. Yeah. Shout Follow her the, on IG. Shout out to the homegirl. She st- she's making those. She posted a picture of mine already. Go check her out. It's a really good gift. Honestly, I've had those for two <laughs> weeks now, right? Almost. Yeah. Almost two weeks. And look how good they are. Like, and my girlies that don't are not water. Or not, I'm sorry, not water. You don't have not, a green thumb. Don't have a green thumb, not plant princesses. <laughs> she fills the sponge that holds everything with, with water. water so you don't have to water them, mm-hmm. queens. Look at queens looking out for other queens. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> queens looking out for lazy queens. Yay. Period. I, I ain't got no green thumb over here. Bye. <laughs> at all. Shout out to you, Claudia. Yeah, thank you, Claudia. Thank you. You're the best. Buzz you didn't get me nothing for my birthday, but. You still mad. All right, you know, Claudia, you know, just get him something real quick, like something. Good God, he ain't gonna <laughs> let it go till October, girl. Um, <clears throat> we're married officially. <laughs> For those who weren't there, it rained heavily. Yeah. And you know what? I want to give a quick. I've been wanting to say this for a while too, like. When I posted that day, I said, thank you. Thank you all that came out into the rain. It's real shit, though. Thank you all for coming out in the rain because it wasn't like a mist. <laughs> no, it was it like was rain. Trenchal downpour, if you get what I'm saying. It was like two days before the whole like flooding. Yeah, it was literally so, before the flooding. No, two days. Yeah, two days. Oh, I think it was a day. No, two days. Two days? Yeah. Okay, so, and it, you know how like here in San Diego, we get like the little bit of mist and stuff like that, and then it stops? Yeah, no. No, it, it can't. We were trying to have our ceremony for three hours. <laughs> and the it weather was, was like, you thought? The weather, after an hour, we got done with our reading our personal vows to each other and all that good stuff. And what, an hour in, still just pouring, 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 that would not stop. Sucks. And we were like, at first, we were like, okay, cool, it was fine. My aunts ran to Home Depot real quick and grabbed like a bunch of umbrellas for aunties. everybody. Yeah. I was in the back seat. I wasn't trying to run in my heels to like my aunt had to go. Yeah, my aunt had to drive me around while my other auntie went in and bought some paper towels because we were going to clean the seats that we bought. 
<laughs> because we thought it was going to stop rented, rented, rented I mean, because we thought it was going to stop raining. So we were like, okay, cool. Whenever we're done with the ceremony, maybe we'll just like wipe it down with all the paper towels. Nope. Nope. It rained. Torrential downpour for a whole hour and a half. And even it after. Rained. And then once everybody was gone, it, st- it, drizz- it turned into like a light drizzle. It turned into a mist like, like, like right, San Diego cool, does. You bet. know, you feel me? The mist that we pay for. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. Shout out to everybody. No, and I really wish, mean that. We yeah. wish you could have stuck around longer, but yeah, uh, I was watching the video. Uh, it was a video. It was a video, but uh, of a podcast. The guy, the guy's like, man, my my girl wants me to invite all these people to the wedding. And she'll be like, oh, you know, like they've been cool. And he's like, I've seen them three times in like a year. He's like, no, he's like I'm not trying to invite people just because I know them. And well, you know what our role was. If we really didn't talk or see them for yeah. six months, we well, knew, y'all weren't coming. I'm sorry. Like, no offense. It's no offense. Like, there's still really good people that we know that we talk to. I see you throwing parties. Not a not a single not a single like, hey, yo, hey, you y'all know busy. What? If we want to keep it, if we want to keep it a hundo, <laughs> if we like, keep it a bug. Like, I saw I saw the friends giving. I wasn't included. In I that know, list. girl. I saw a white <laughs> elephant. I was like, wait a minute. You know, like, I mean, we're not we're not the type of people to keep tabs on that shit. But it's like if we constantly see you and it's cool every we all post on instagram right we want to we want you to know who's we there we all got our friends we all have our friends cool. but like if you were expecting to invite when cuckoo nobody's there for like you don't invite us like it's like <laughs> come on bro you know that's all tricky the whole wedding like mm-hmm. um shout out to bill bill and Lori who are going through that oh She's yeah like, dude, people are like oh you need my address for the wedding it's like you I, I know i see her posting about that i was like girl you better stop it <laughs> And don't, you know what? Shout don't out your address. And shout out to Lori too. I wrote her. I wrote her the other day because she had posted something about, um, you know, when you wait so long to have to get married and stuff like that. And I wrote her. I said, you know what? Shout out. Sh- that's right. Like shout out to the ones that waited because you know she. And then she wrote back and told me something really great. You know, like it builds your friendship. It it, it builds like your awareness. It builds like everything for so long, and then you finally tie the knot. I granted COVID had a lot to play in us waiting so long to get married, but I'm glad we got married when we did. And I would never take it back. I mean, the weather and I don't care. I mean, the weather, y'all, I couldn't <laughs> deal without that. But like, as far as everybody's comments about how I even put that in my vows to shout out to me, I, no shout matter how, you. <laughs> no matter how long it took to get married, I'm glad it happened when it happened. It's yeah. called growing together first. It was cool. Mm-hmm. We are now married i wear oh i'm not wearing my <gasps> <gasps> the blasphemy, blasphemy. Uh, where's your ring at in, in the room oh you lucky you were home all day <laughs> oh he was no, off- I stepped out no you went to go see your mom you thought no 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 she's you know, gonna call her call your mom she's right gonna now? <laughs> was he with you right now no, her she's mom, like his- i haven't seen him <laughs> And then his mom's gonna call him and, and like yell at him like yeah. where were you yeah you lying now <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but yeah, now I wear a ring. It's cool. I like it. Being married, man. No, he did. Um, the other day he went to work. We're just and exposing each other, huh? Yeah, we are exposing. Okay, all right, um, this what is what do. this podcast is about. You want more to listeners? Expose me. You want more <laughs> listeners? She's mid time, right? So the other day, I'm I'm logging on to my computer. I'm starting to work, so I'm like really busy in the mornings because I get all. I'm the type of employee. I get all my stuff done at a certain time. So. He was downstairs already in the car and he's like, babe, I, I took a shower and I switched out my rubber rings because he has like 10 packs of them rubber black rings that he wears to work because he doesn't wear his like his steel one or your gold. You have to get your gold one resized. Right. Yeah. So he was already downstairs. He calls me. He's like, hey, are you busy right now? I'm like, it's the morning. I'm busy. And he's all like, oh, yeah, babe, I was going to I was because I told him earlier, he had called me earlier before that. And I was like, don't worry about your ring. Just go because I'm, I'm super busy right now. He calls me again like 20 minutes later. He's like, babe, I'm still in the parking lot. Can you please just run it down? I don't feel white. I don't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fine. I took my break early. I ran down there and I'm like, here. You can't, you know, these hoes out here, they sniff it. Sounds it. like a guilty conscience. To put on my ring? No, that you wanted to put on it's your because I didn't have it. And I was walking outside. I was like, it's sunny. Where the hoes at? I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. And you know, I told him because I was busy that morning. Ghetto bird wants to fly. Oh, shit. Can you move me out the ghetto? We're married now. (laughs) Anyway, I told him, I said, I was busy that morning. I'm like, yo, like, let them hoes call at you for a day. I don't give a, I don't give a shit right now. I'm busy. I work. And then he's, then he calls me 20 minutes. Babe, I really don't feel right. I didn't do it like that. You're like, babe, I don't feel right. 
Because no rings I was like yo Nah Yo You did not sound like that Yo Nah My ring You are easily not gonna get believed right now <laughs> That's how it sounded in my head So Whatever Really Shout sounded- out to us We're married Shout out to everybody who's married Shout out to everybody who's single Enjoy it You don't have to rush to marriage And shout out to those that don't are Don't let the parents pressure you Exactly And shout out to those that are You know you're engaged But it's been a couple years Don't rush Get married when you're ready. And for those thinking, like, Jonah's wearing a hoodie and shorts. You do that all That's the time. That's just what the fuck I do, all right? I don't need no judgment. <laughs> oh, um, you're going to shout out the new page, too? I'll do that later. Oh, at the end? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up, but we, oh, we went to Seattle for her birthday and mm-hmm. Valentine's Day. Shout out to Seattle. We love it there. Um, <laughs> we do this silly ass shit. Um, <laughs> we've done it every time we've gone now. Yeah. Um, where we'll be walking because we'll just be walking around the city or whatever, and I'll see like a building that says like. Wait, let's give yeah. a backstory to that though. Who? Oh yeah. Shot, yeah. Louis, you I don't, don't even know, listen. Luis don't even listen. But one of our one of my friends. Um, he we oh it was the first time we did it though. It was the first time we went. No 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 we went and he's like y'all better not think about moving out there, and we weren't. But I got a postcard and we sent it to and we him. Sent it to, we mailed it. You know how hard it was to mail it. Remember, we couldn't find a fucking I know. place to buy a stamp. And, and I'm shit. all like, yo, like you guys have these postcards that say Seattle for sale. Like what? Where can I get a stamp? Yeah. Anyway, so we we mailed him a postcard and then joking around, I was like, babe, let's go to this building. Yeah. And, and we like- took pictures of all the four <laughs> lease signs that are out on the curb, you know, or like on the window. And Jonah's like. Nah, but for real, let's just go in and see, like, what's up? Let's pretend like we want to move here, and we went in there. And, and now like, it's tradition. And now every time we go, <laughs> we check out a new building. Yeah. All they do yeah, all they do is, like, you know, they ask us. And it actually, one day, it this time actually made me think about moving, honestly. Yeah. When she was saying, like, the prices, I was like, oh, that's not. It's really not bad. And it was in the city, too. So I was like, oh, that's not bad. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be for them. Higher. For them, though, it's like the higher you go. Yeah. Is the more the money. More expensive. Yeah. But we like to go and like <laughs> pretend like we're moving there. And I was like, yeah, for work, transfer. They're, tra- they're paying for my all expense paid move in. We're trying to find another place. And yeah. Then they're like super nice to us. It's cool. It's cool though. It is really cool. Dope views. We always get like the. Oh, wait, wait. The dope views when we go. But it really gives us ideas though. Yeah. Seattle's dope. If you haven't been, definitely check it out. Um, Highly recommend. It is really, literally one of our favorite places in the world to yes. go to. It is like if we had a list of places to move to, we do have a list. We Seattle's do. on there. Yeah, Seattle. Seattle is on there. The Pacific Northwest in general, I think, is always so beautiful. Yeah. Always. We say that, but we don't deal with rain like that. I mean, we don't. So. And then we're over there like, I don't get, we're because everyone, like the Lyft drivers that we've spoken to all those times we've been in Seattle. They're like, they're, what? They're like, why would you want to move here from, like, remember the guy this recent last time we were at the, we were doing the apartment tour? He's like, you're coming from San Diego. Yeah. He's like, why? Why? And I I'm all they like. They think the weather though. That's why. They think because we, but it's funny because everybody over there is like, we haven't had sun in 30 days. And then I'm in my head and I even told Jonah out loud on my birthday, I said, I could give a fuck about the sun. <laughs> but then I realized like, you know, you I, don't I was know what born, it's like to not yeah, have it. And I can't really, I realize I can't really say that because I was born and raised here in San Diego. Yeah. I've always had sun. I've had gloomy weather. I've had it all like, except, you know, except for like the four seasons, which I want maybe one day I maybe want, <laughs> but I don't know yet. But yeah, I'm like, I can't really say that because I've, I've been born and raised on the sunshine. So. so it was cool. We went, took a little trip. That's why there wasn't a pod last week. And, that's why I got her to jump on because I didn't have anybody lined up since we were gone. So yeah, and you know what? If you guys go, do not stay in Belltown. A little, it's a little. Um, Belltown got real, homelessly. real. It's like what do they call them? Um, unhoused. Unhoused. Yeah, it's like downtown. A lot of unhoused walking around. It almost looked like Skid Row a little bit. Nah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too. too eh. But you, you know what though? The most. But you know what though? I've never been so scared, even by myself. Like you know, in downtown after the club and stuff. I was never as scared as I was that first night we were there in Belltown and we're trying to go to the corner store. Literally the corner store. The liter- there was like a bunch of people like it was like 10 o'clock at night. Me and Jonah were trying to go get water and stuff like that. And we're in. Ugh, imagine just the gas lamp, right? But on the outer part, outer parts where it's darker. There was like one street light. homeless. I was I've never been that scared in my life. And I was like clinging on to Jonah. Like, yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, it was, it was just bad. it was a little bit scary that night. But I mean, it wasn't that bad though. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. During, and then when we left that Saturday, what did you see? Mad people. Mad people coming in and out of that hotel when it was just yeah. us for Wednesday, Thursday, it was Friday. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we had fun. Her birthday just passed, so we spent it out there. It was cool. It was my cool birthday. Little, cool little break or whatever. Oh, shout out to all the birthday wishes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, what I was trying to get to is while we were out there and we we're watching the Risa, the Risa Tisa. Oh, the you need to tell them to watch that. <laughs> but a lot of you know what I noticed? It's like fifty some episodes. A lot of people don't get my references on TikTok. Like you know, whenever we like joke fuck around about like TikTok quotes. Yeah. A lot of people are not as many people as we think are on TikTok that we know. A lot of them not, don't really yeah. go on TikTok. If you don't know and you live under a rock and you haven't paid your cell phone bill or Wi-Fi in <laughs> a couple weeks and you don't know about this, some girl went on a rant. 50, 50, 52 episodes. 52 episodes of 10 minute like, videos. Her story of she dated or met, she was married to like this pathological liar and we were sitting there. We'd come back from being out and we'd be like, all right, let's watch a couple. A couple it would be of, um, midnight and we'd be done with our day. And we're just like on her shit yeah. for two days. And her birthday was February 15th, like mine. Oh, yeah, that's so true. she was doing it on Valentine's Day, her birthday. And the day after all three days, we were in Seattle. In the airport? We in finished the, airport, it at the airport, we finished it at the airport. That bro. shit is crazy. This dude is a crazy. And you think you've met liars, but then the shit she was saying, you're like, this dude takes I don't the know cake. Anybody who lies like that. You want to give an example of why this guy takes the cake online? Why? Okay, I'll, I'll give it because I yeah. fucking remember vividly because I couldn't believe her. <laughs> okay, so this guy would talk to his oh yeah his dead cousin. Mm, no, no, no. Was it? He tried to lie and say he was talking to Junebug. Oh yeah. So true. his cousin had been dead for like five good years, right? He would try to be on the phone. Hey, Junebug, how you doing? He, oh, Risa. Junebug said, hey. She goes, oh, hey, Junebug. And then he'd be like, he'd be like, she said, oh, hey. She said, hey. Like, what y'all up to? Okay, that's number one, the right? The brother who hasn't talked the to him The brother in years. that hasn't talked to him in 10 years. That, that, no, 2020 no, 20. was five years. It was a lot of years, whatever. It was a lot of years. He was fake talking to people on the phone he was talking to himself <laughs> pretending to be his to be on the phone With. that's crazy because he she said it was like 30 minutes he's like yeah you know what y'all gonna do this weekend she gave vivid Chilling, examples about nothing. what she heard he'd be like yeah she right here hey my brother's is high hey and she'd be <laughs> like a normal person you guys no. gotta go look her up risa tisa on tiktok you gotta be fucking like you mentally nuts. ill bro like nuts one thing a lie is like, yeah, I fucked that girl and you never did. Whatever. You're just trying to be cool in front of the homies. But to to like, oh my nah, God. No, nah, no. A lie to me is you saying you sick, but you're not just to get out of something. Yeah, but that's like. But that's like a white lie. Like, lies. Whatever. Like, this lying's guy bad, but like people just lie sometimes and it's just like, whatever. This it's guy, stupid, but we're only covering the surface, you guys. This you need. was crazy. You need to. Bro. Go get the whole Crazy. thing. Risa Tisa on TikTok. Who the fuck did I marry? That's the series. I love how people, girls are now like walking up to their husband like, nah, show me your birth certificate. Yeah. Show me your social or security. Or people are, are using her, monetizing her videos and being like, so like, you know, doing her voiceovers and shit. Like, yeah. it's crazy right now. That shit is fucking crazy. Uh -huh. I started I'm, following her. Shout out Risa. I don't know anybody. I mean, I know people who lie, but. I know people who lie too. But like to. No, most of the I think, I think lying everyone lies. Yeah, but I think people who you know sometimes when I, when I hear a lie, I'm like, oh, that was dumb. But whatever, like, like I'm not gonna accuse them of being like crazy. And there's always those lies about text messages. I've been guilty of it before, where it's like, hey, text me like I got an emergency. Yeah, like you know, you look at your phone. Oh my god, I gotta go home. <laughs> like that's the biggest like thing I think I could do. You know. But me faking a whole convo. That's nuts. For 30 that minutes, bro. Sometimes an At hour. Least he was like consistent with his, with his line. And he never, that dude had the solidest memory ever. Cause he just kept going <laughs> like, Oh, he, like professional liar that never skips a beat. Cause you no. know, like when people lie, they forget. Yeah. So sometimes they'll be like, yo, nah, you told me, you told me you went to like over here, blah, blah. blah and they'd be like, uh, 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 right. Yeah. Not him. Not him. 
Yeah. You guys gotta go watch it to just. He like so vibe good. I bet you if he did, I bet you if he took a lie detector, he'd pass it. Yeah, that's how good it is because he would line. know what to yeah. do with his like body motions and shit like that. <laughs> Anyways, that was nuts. Go peep that if you haven't seen it because Jesus Christ. Yep. Jesus, I mean, I lied to her when I met her. I told her I was younger. Oh, I liked a year younger. <laughs> a liar. No, she was funny because you at my birthday, the, the cake with the birthday. You're like, wait. No, I saw your ID too. I was like, "How old are you?" The fuck. <laughs> Didn't really make a difference because they we still had an age gap. Yeah. So. You still over here chasing old men? No. Uh, what is that? That's like the opposite of a cougar. What is a? In Spanish, is a term for it. What's it called? Asalta tumbas, a grave digger. That's it. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. That's fucked up. Asalta tumbas, and if you chase young people, asalta kumba. Well, I mainly chase old men because of maturity level. Hold on, hold on, because you make me forget Spanish. Asalta tumba and asalta. Sounds like salsa. Shh. <laughs> what do they call fucking cribs? O M G. Cradle robber. Yeah, but in Spanish it's um. Oh, asalta cuna. Mm. Like robbing the cradle. Okay. All right. I feel it. Oof. <laughs> My age is catching up. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was. Happy birthday. Thank you. I had a good time. Been married now a month. Sugar daddy. Uh, don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already going to start saying. That's what I've been waiting to get married so I could be like, don't do it. Look at me. I'm and old. Yours is the easiest job ever. What? You're married. You? Yeah. Easy? Mm hmm. How? Be appreciative. Of what? Me. You welcome. Listen. (laughs) Ain't nothing easy about you. Oh, really? Mm. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse, yeah. (laughs) Everything could be worse. (laughs) And then, um, did you see... All right, let's talk about this. All right. It's serious. Go on. I'm being for real. Who's an artist that that you like? That you're, you fa- you would fangirl over, whether it be hip hop or R and B. Damn, these days are back in the Just day. In your lifetime, who's an artist that you'd be like, dude? If I saw him, I'd have to get a picture. Have to have to get have a picture? to have to. Damn, let's see. Chris Breezy, no. Nah. Fifty Cent, Akon. Well, 50, I, like, I used to be obsessed with him, but he wasn't cute to me. He was just... Okay, I'm talking about, like, cute. Cute? Yeah, like... Oh. That you're like, damn, he's cute. Shit. Can he be a football player? No, he has to be a... A rapper? It has to be, like, has a, a, be a performer, rapper. yeah. Shit. I don't... <laughs> I just don't... Okay. If a, if a rapper looked like Hafunga... From the 49ers? Come, um, be for real. Okay, okay, shit. Be, uh, say an artist that you thought was cute. Little Wayne? No. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Little Wayne, my ass. Um, Come on, it's an audio broadcast. Let's go. Boys <sighs> to Man, R. Kelly. Oh, you said R. Ching, Kelly, that'd be nice. Ching um, I can't even say Bad Bunny. No. You don't think Bad Bunny's cute? No. Damn. Damn. All the Latina girl is going to attack you in the comments. Oh, I know. They already did. I already <laughs> remember that one episode I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, not Bad Bunny. Uh, shit. Okay. His, only because of his voice, uh, uh, Raul Alejandro. Uh, okay. All right. Let's say we and you go to a Raul concert. Uh-huh. All the, just to get to this fucking point. We go to a Raul concert and you're like, ah, front row. Right. And he points at you and tells you to come up. You going up? And you're married to me. Oh, what you mean? Oh, I would go up, take a picture. <laughs> would you dance on him? No. Oh, okay. I would do do like a like a well, you know, he's a reggaeton singer. I would be up there doing like cumbias and shit. Like I wouldn't be like <laughs> ass ass on dick. <laughs> well, did you see the video? Yes, you told me about it. That bitch is nuts. Listen, bro. the females these days are you so can't. fucking nuts, bro. Like, you guys think that that you that one little minute of fame that dude's gonna forever think about you. You're the flavor of the minute of of that of that of concert. that concert. He ain't gonna of remember you song. tomorrow. Of that he is song, not, 
he's probably so drunk or high out of his mind that night partying. The next day, he don't even remember the fuck you are. And you threw, she had, it was a seven year relationship, nah, it right? One, it was less than a year. The, they interviewed the guy, it was less than a year. But still. Uh, why were they saying six year? The, because uh, the internet the was the internet. Internet. In, inter, internet team. Okay. Regardless. Regardless. That, whatever that dude was giving you that you were in a year relationship. Excuse you me. You threw it away. You threw it away for your five minutes of fame. And you got killed on social media. And you got roasted. I saw the comments. So that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's why I don't. Every guy in a relationship saw that was like, oh, that wouldn't be me. Ouch. That hurt, bro. No, I would have left. He was there while Ariel. Every- he should have left. Yeah, he 100%. was. 100%. He was sitting there while Ariel. I would have left. I would have dipped the girl. You ain't, bitch, you ain't going to do that to me. Yeah. I, I would have pissed here. the fuck out. We'll walk home. You get a Lyft, Uber, whoever. I've left girls at the bar for much less. Uh, I walked out too. The fuck. The hell fuck? Hell no. Uh, you wouldn't catch. You wouldn't. They wouldn't even have time to record my ass. You you see me, my back of me walking away. <laughs> They're like, who was that? Is he with there? I don't know. I don't know. Gone. Gone. That guy stuck around. God, that's a dummy right there. He probably wanted his five minutes of fame too. You never know. Yeah. So what? No, nobody won five minutes of shame. Well, why would you sit there then? He was probably in disbelief. Shock. Shock is a real thing. He was probably like, no, she's not. What she? What he? No, it's, that's not her behind the curtain. No, please. What no. were you thinking was behind the curtain that she was two step? And it looked like he got a little stiffy. The the performer, whoever the guy is. Um, that's another thing, bro. He's not even like popping like that. Oh, uh, poor guy. That's that girl's why a hoe. She deserves nothing but coal for Christmas. That's why I don't be fangirling. Yeah, you you ask fan. me, you ask me that right now. I really don't have a desire for anybody but the football players. That is a different story. That's the next level of fame. You would grind up on a football. No, player? I wouldn't grind up uh, on a football. I'm about to I say would, divorce. I, I probably would divorce even, now. I wouldn't even have the balls to take a picture with Hafunga or Bosa because I'd be so shy. <laughs> like I would. That would be the one time you would catch me not talking. <laughs> Jesus, hey, hey Huff, you busy? I mean, like, Come chill out oh a little bit. God. Talk too much. <laughs> I don't know. He just has a fine specimen, specimen, and he's an Aquarius like me. So, so he ain't shit. <laughs> but other than that, I don't be fangirling because that's fangirling right there. What? You pretty much went up and uh, and danced on them right now. No, that's pretty much what here. you did. On I mic. wouldn't. I on wouldn't. Mic. I wouldn't fucking do that to my relationship. Women like that just. Kill it for the rest of y'all. Yeah, they do, and at the same time, it's like y'all fangirling over what? That's his origin story. He's about to be a hoe. Fact. And he's like, did you see him? Huh? He's a good looking dude. What? What's his name? I don't know his name. The the singer or the? the I'm singer. talking about the guy. Oh yeah, everyone was saying that he was fine. Yeah, like he's about to be a hoe bag, and he deserves. Oh, go ahead, bro. He needs to rock out with his cock out. He needs her. to fuck her best friends, sister. Her sister, everybody. That's the one time I will agree. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you, you would agree? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And the fact that you, and I get maybe, I do take that back. I think maybe why he sat there. He was probably in shock. It's like, just like, holy damn, shit. Like, like, maybe he was thinking. Or he wanted to see it and be like, nah, she's not going to come back and tell me like, no. Yeah. It wasn't that deep. Hey, it just social looks media like that. caught it for you. Yeah, but she could have been like, no, nah, it just looks like that. Yeah. Or behind the curtain, she could have been like, that's not even me. I had already got nah. He wanted to see yeah. 4K for evidence. Poor dude. Poor dude, yeah. Damn. Poor Sorry. guys in general. This is the kind of women we got. They got to deal with, babe. That's what's out there. It's not all women. It's all the ones women that be fangirling like that. All single women like that. Well, she wasn't single. Oh, okay, see, all women then. No, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. All you hoes. Just because one fucked it up for some of us. And she said women back. She did. Sure. She for did. Sure. I don't think a guy would ever do anything like that. The team's been good on, on social media. It really like, has been. I don't watch the blind. Um, what is Love it? is blind. Love is blind shit. Mm-hmm. But I see the, like, the clips about, did you see that one where the, the guy got caught lying? No, I don't watch that. You don't watch the clip? I think that show is stupid. I don't be like paying attention. Uh, watch how only you miss mature cats and now. I really am mature this year. Get away from me. <laughs> um, the guy. Well, he like you know they have options. Mm-hmm. He picked one, but I think he still ha- when he saw the other one. The other one is cuter. She's, she's cuter. Mm-hmm. They started like, you know, whatever. You would go for that. Me no. You would watch that show. Anyway, actually. I thought it was funny because she caught him lying. Mm. She's like, why did you come home at five in the morning 
when the clubs closed at two, and I was like, I mean, I've done that, but I wasn't in an alley, like. <laughs> And, and you, you picked me up And you texted me about it And I picked you up I mean you picked me up mm-hmm. But he was like Okay Yeah I talked to her Till 5 in the morning And she's like He's like But I gave you my location And this dumbass So what happened was He left his phone in the car mm-hmm. So that if she did check the location He would be in the car He'd be Where, he, where he's saying he's at right Uh huh his Apple Watch has a cellular service. Ah, uh, His us. Apple Watch was somewhere else. Because uh-uh. they'll tell you which, where each device is. And she had both of them, didn't she? Well, if you have one, you have both. Uh, so she knew where he was and she caught him right y'all, in the day. You know what gets to me these days? People are such dumbasses that, and it, it goes like a lot of ways. Like, So what she's trying to say is cheat smarter. No, like people <laughs> act like someone don't have your location. Like all your devices are not connecting you to something and it, it, I'm not. I'm saying in that way, and then in like all these other ways too. People are still so dumb these days. It's mm-hmm. like when people talk about you, and then they expect not to for it not to get back to you. <laughs> this is 2024. Nobody's uh, loyal to you, bro. Everybody's snitching. Everybody's a telling everybody, confi- bro. Confident informants. Like whatever negative comment you had to say, it's gonna eventually, get back. Yeah, eventually, eventually. That's why I just tell them to their face. Period. They <laughs> ask me, "Oh, did you talk to so and so?" Yeah, I did. <laughs> I remember one time one of my friends, shout out Louise. Um, he's like, Yo, I heard you were talking shit. This was years ago. I was like uh-huh. I was like, You heard I would just say it to your face and he was, <laughs> <laughs> He's all fuck you. I was like, Bro, I'll call you a bitch every day. What worse can I say behind your back? Exactly. Like, what are you talking about? Exactly. <clears throat> but that shit's funny. Some people need to read the room tea on who they talking to. The T was teen. Yep. Yeah. He's been teen. Yeah. Not in our real life, but other people's yeah. tea. I mean, we got a little bit in our real life. A little bit. People acting weird or whatever. People acting you weird. You know what? Or whatever. That brings me to my next goal this year. I've decided personally for myself, along with me starting new things, like doing all that kind of stuff, meeting new people eventually. <laughs> um, I've decided also that I'm not going to be, I think I've told a few people this too. I'm not going to be putting myself into situations where I know I'm going to have a negative response. What do you mean? Like, you know how like people, you know, when you realize some, you know, somebody so well that, you know, that they're going to say something to like, you know, what their responses are and shit like that. So I'm just not going to be putting myself in those types of situations this year where it requires me to get like mad or a negative or give a negative response. Can you give me an example? It's kind of hard. Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, okay you know how you say don't give things attention or don't don't buy into things i'm not gonna be putting myself in those types of situations either okay that's not an example well it's as close as i can get to like, one. use me as an example huh what are you not gonna do that's gonna make me or what like help me out help me understand mm, it's like if i'm already irritated about something mm-hmm. and then i go around the same thing that's making me irritated oh i got you yeah <laughs> that took a little while, but finally said it. You know what I mean? I like that goal. Yeah. You know, not put yourself in situations that are going to irritate you or make you feel a type of way. That way I don't come home and like blow your ear off. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. 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 Do that. 100%. Yeah, it's Peaceful Cat 2024. Oh. Finally. <laughs> I need a Max Ween. <laughs> You're parking Gween. She's parking Gween. Yeah. Um, that's a good goal. What, what would be my goal? I already stay away from. Oh, uh, my tolerance is zero. For what? For anything that, that I feel is like any type of like um, disrespect or even any type of um, anything, anything that I feel like I don't like. Mm hmm. I'm not going to address the issues. I'm just not going to talk to those people. Period. Just flat out. Like, that's how you want to move. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Go do that over there. I'm not, I'm no. not involving myself. With I them. literally feel the same way this year. Like, new people, whoever I meet or new, like, people, whatever, you got one time to give me the ick. Yeah. And it's, like, sure. done, you know? I've already done two. And I'm cool with it. Yeah. I'm cool with it. Cut off game so strong. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, though. You got to protect your energy. You do. And that's what I'm starting to realize now. It's like. And not everybody. Remember I was telling you, I was like, I wish I had a me as a friend. I do too. Well, I mean. I mean, you kind of. I'm like, eh. 
But I mean, I do low key have that already a little bit, but it's like you. Well, okay. For example, right. Like you tell me this, my aunties tell me this. I can't expect me from people, right? Some, a lot of people actually. And it's like, okay, well, if I can't expect me from people going forward, I've made this pact to myself. I didn't tell anybody about it. I made a pact to myself. If I can't expect me from the people that I want to expect me from, I'm just not going to be around. Yeah, period. Good shit. And it's like, so that way I don't have to hear that saying, you know? Yeah. Ooh, that got deep quick. Let's change subject. <laughs> I need a Max Ween. Uh, yeah, that You're just parking going. Just parking going. Okay, oh yeah. Sorry, that was an inside joke, me and Jonah. So, <laughs> I, I always want to go to Tacos del Gordo. Yeah. If we drive by it, I'm like, you want Tacos del Gordo? Well, do y'all Hold wanna, on. Do y'all want to stand in that line, Shh. though? Shh, shh. Ask them. And she always says the same thing. They're not here. She always says the same thing. No, babe, it's too long. No, it's not. No, I don't want to wait in that line. She, the parking sucks. And we're driving by it right here on Broadway. And she goes, I just want to place. But she said it so fast. She said, I just want to place you. You pack and go in. <laughs> and I started dying laughing. And then he started mimicking Drake on Drake's live on TikTok. And the little clip, he goes, I need the, look, somebody sent me this hat. I need the Max Ween. I need the Max Ween. And I started saying that. I was like, I need the Max Ween. And she starts laughing. She's like, what? I was like, I don't know what the fuck you just said. She said, just park and go in. <laughs> he said, oh, you just park and go in. <laughs> I need a Max Ween. Yeah. So. Do you, I get this question a lot. I don't know why I get this question so much because we've been together for 10 years now. Do you Not feel different? Years. Do you feel different now that we're married? No. I don't either. No. I think the only thing different we did was start vlogging our coffee trips now. No, I was like, <laughs> damn, it's for real, for real. I, we got the whole blue birth certificate and everything. <laughs> the wedding certificate? Yeah, now it's just like for real, for it real. Look, I say that because it looks like a birth certificate. Yeah. Nobody told me it looks like a birth certificate. Does it matter? No. no. I was just like looking at it when I got it. I was like, oh. Yeah. This is new. It's the new birth of our life. It's the birth. It's the birth. The uh, labor of birth. <laughs> um, no, I don't feel different. Do you feel different? Mm. No. We've done different things so far, but it's, that's because it's a new year. I don't know. We're yeah, vloggers I don't, I don't, now. Now I just, instead of my fiance, it's my wife. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all. You want to start yeah, talking to them all. about your new YouTube channel? Why are you always bringing up old shit? It's not old shit. It's, it's new. New shit, new shit, new shit. It's for sneakerheads only. Sneakerheads and coffee lovers. Yeah. Um, I'll Even put if it you're not a sneakerhead, you're going to start loving sneakers because you'll see us. Um, put it in the description. I started a sneaker review, coffee review YouTube. I've always wanted to do one. Yeah, I have a sneaker Instagram where I'll show like this new sneaks that I copped. Um, I just said, fuck it. I'm going to do it. And honestly, I enjoy it. Like I enjoy recording it. I enjoy editing it because it's short. Not like this. This is long yeah. format, but those videos are short. So I like it. So I'm, we're going to try every Sunday to go try out a new coffee shop. Or when we play hooky. I play hook. Shh. Not in public. Not in public. <laughs> uh, when we play hooky. Normally is when you play hooky. Yeah. Well, Mondays. um, and the intro is dope. If you go check it out on Cafe Con Sneakers on YouTube, um, where I think we should start doing that from now on though is filming each pair of shoes. We have enough shoes to do it. Yeah. Film each pair of shoes we wear with to go out. That's what I did. And that's what we need to do from now on. Oh, we? You're gonna help? We? We? <laughs> we French now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if you guys like sneakers or coffee or aren't annoyed with me 100%, go check it out. Cafe on sneakers. The sneakers is, see, it has to be a sneakerhead. It's like the sneakers app. S N K R S. Sneakers. Well, even if they're not sneakerheads, they could but maybe the, we could uh, But if you see the thing, you know where it came from. Yeah. From the, the Nike's going to sue me. <laughs> what? Because I'm using their the name. The sneakers thing. Uh. Nah, they'd be alright. Nah, they'd be alright. They got money. They got billions, trillions. They alright. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So that's this year. We are a married couple, focusing on us. You need to change 20. your name. I do need to go do that. I heard it's a process. I know it's just so sucks for you. But I'm gonna get on it though. Like I already said, after my birthday trip and stuff, I was gonna start doing it. 
Yeah. Probably like this month in March or April, I'll start doing it. All our friends are married. Like we were, the, I think we were the last ones. Huh? Were we? I think so. Oh shit. Damn. We should get a medal. Like you reach that age. Mm-hmm. You're like marriage and single people. Having oh, fun. I have a few single friends. Well, I'll be watching them through the window. Like, I know I'll be watching their story sometimes when, fun. when I can't make it, I'll be like, but honestly, when I see people, this is going to sound washed. When I see people going out, and I'm like, damn. You know what's the first thing I, I think about? No <laughs> you know what's the first thing I think about? What? Is when I see people getting ready to, when they go out, I'm like, damn, how much your lift going to cost? Like, <laughs> how much, how long did it take to do your makeup and stuff? Because right now, even right now, when I told you, I did my makeup in 30 minutes. That's the fastest I've ever done to do, to, to go anywhere or do anything. And when you're going out at night, it's a whole process. So I'm sitting here like, when I see that, I'm like, damn, your makeup. And then the lift ride. And how are you getting home? Lift rides have gotten expensive. Uh, they've really? gotten so fucking expensive. And Seattle ta- humbled us real quick Facts. with the fucking lift rides. Two Bro, miles cost 80 bucks to get $15. from the airport to the city. Yes. Fuck the cab. That. You know what's sad these days? You guys probably won't believe us. A cab was cheaper, cheaper to get yeah. to the airport. And they what did they do? The meter? Yeah, the meter. The cab was cheaper to get to the airport than yeah. it was to lift it there. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I think from here to downtown is like 25 bucks. That's a lot, I know dude. you lying. Nah. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's why That's the first lot, thing, I, when I see any of y'all stories, I'm like, how much? Or did you drive? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Fuck. Yeah. We started taking the bus and didn't see that on. Shit. That was cool, actually. Yeah, I know. We, we, had our- we got lost. Went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> we had a whole bus experience in Seattle. That was cool, though. Thrifting. Was- she likes thrifty now. She's a thrifty girly. I've been, but I I can't. I didn't really do as much last year as I That's wanted the new to. Wave. As I wanted to, like, but this year I'm really gonna start getting into it. Like, I save money and I get to shop. You don't save money by spending money, but it's little money. But it's money. It's girl math. That's a hundred percent girl math. That is girl what math. What you mean? Spending and I money like, is, and I like finding old stuff. Like I don't know. That's I, why you found me. Yeah, <laughs> she thrifted her boyfriend. I, I found him at the vintage <laughs> bot, ladies. Go get you one. Forty nine ninety nine. She thrifted her man. <laughs> Wait, how, <laughs> he was cost in the forties. Hey, 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 ah. hey, hey. Easy, easy. But no, I like. I've always been interested in stuff ever since my aunt started thrifting and showing me how you can tell. But they were thrifting like knickknacks. Thank yeah. God you ain't in knickknacks no more. Uh, if I find one, yeah, but I don't have room. So yes, you don't have room. But I do. I part. I want to rebuild another goal of mine this year. I want to rebuild my whole closet. I want like quality stuff, and they don't make quality shit anymore. It's back in the day. Like even though I used to talk so much shit about nineties clothes, it was still Knowledge quality. You. It was quality. Y'all like, oh look, babe, this is old. Yeah. And he You're just wanted, old. he just likes, when I go to estate sales. You're technically a thrift. I really am. I'm vintage now. Um, but he, he only likes to go to see the houses when we go to estate sales. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. No, no lie though. I like going into the rich ones because I'm like, damn, I would have never seen the inside of this in my life. Even when we would check out the apartments, I was like, yo. Yeah. I was already like, where can I put my shoes? <laughs> yeah. Those apartments in Seattle are bomb because we find the ones with the space needle view and it's, oh, it's popping. Yeah. It's popping. But, hey, but you Even know what? That, 40 bucks to get up on the needle? Mm-hmm. That's a lot, bro. It's You know what stayed tried and true, though? Was that? What? The needle? The needle. That's been 40 bucks since we went six years ago. No, it was not no 40 bucks. It was 40 it bucks. It was like 15. Was it? Yeah, it was way cheap. I wouldn't have asked you to marry me for forty dollars. Oh yeah, right. Um, <laughs> what did I say? Stayed tried and true in Seattle when we saw the tag. Oh, I think it was like a food thing, wasn't it? What was it? You said, "Damn!" This thing. Oh, I got you. We went to the first Starbucks when we were in Seattle again because my oh, auntie, the coffee my the auntie wanted something, and my best the friend wanted something. It product? was the it was the Pike's Place coffee that you could only get at the first Starbucks oh, store, bucks, yeah. and it it stayed ten ninety nine. No, nine ninety nine. No, it's ten ninety nine. Eleven bucks. Ten. You want to go? You want to bet? You want to bet? Shoes. No, I ain't betting. Shoes Let's bet that. shoes right now. We do this shit all the time. You lost. When? Where are my fours? Um, where's my Where? Lululemon purse? I get that next week. Whatever. Uh, period. Anyway, so that thing of coffee, the bag, stayed tried and true for six years through COVID. Ten is nine nine nine. It's ten nine nine. Let's bet right now. I'm betting you, bro. We betting as fuck right now. You lost. Last nah, time. nah, nah. Well, I'm gonna go pull it off the the counter. She thought. I don't know what day it was. I think it was 
Oh, the day that I, that I went to the hospital, remember? Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, I want, I think it was like 11. Uh-huh. You're like, I want breakfast from McDonald's. Oh, and we, I was like, that's how I always ask some shoes. I was like, bro, breakfast at McDonald's at 11? She's like, yeah. I was like, all right. So we go. And I was like, they're not going to have that shit no more. She's like, yeah, they will. Just ask. No, it was like 1045. I said they stopped serving breakfast at 11. At 10. But they stopped serving breakfast at 10. And she's like, uh, no, we made it. And the girl was like, no. <laughs> we stopped at 10. <laughs> I was like, well, whatever. Fuck y'all. They're the only ones who don't serve it all day. I know. Because I know Jack and the, the Crack Burger does. King. And Burger King. Oh, we ended up getting the hash browns at Burger King that day. Oh, they had the little tater tots. They're like tater tots. They're a little circle. They're so good. They're fire. With some salsa. That's fatty shit. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny in Seattle? I felt like we didn't even eat. I felt like we were filling up on coffee the entire day. Coffee and walking. And walking. We didn't even notice. Yeah. Uh, also, I did a review on three sneakers that I wore out there. If you're curious, that we know what shoes not to rock or or, or to rock. Go watch the video. Yeah. Also, if you guys ever go to Seattle, check out Bait Seattle. Yeah, they're cool. They're bomb. We always we always purchase something when we go there. We always find something. Yeah. Spend money. Spend. Money, yep. Living like we balling. Shit, we were I living. I saw a meme that said, "Um, <clears throat> it says I spend money." Like I sell bricks at this point, I need to start selling bricks. <laughs> hey, you know what? And this is no lie though. The one, the other meme we saw, like I spend money, like I need to start moving for El Chapo. That's yeah, that's fact. Shit. Like that's why that's how you be thrifting. Yeah, she's like, what? babe, I only spent eighty dollars on thrift. No, I spent babe. six dollars this last weekend at an estate sale. In Seattle. In Seattle. Well, twenty five we on the jacket. We're going to vintage shops. They, of course, they're gonna mark up the fucking price. It was ridiculous. Now that I got, so I wanted to to thrift a vintage granny sweater. If y'all know what I'm talking about, I showed it on my TikTok. I don't nobody follow. You. I was so pissed. I thrifted a vintage granny sweater in Seattle at a vintage shop for twenty six bucks. And then this 25. last week, it was twenty six. The sweater, or the jacket, the sweater was twenty six. Oh. Then this last weekend, that's a lot for a sweater. Then this last week, it had a cat on it, and I've been wanting that oh, forever. Man, that's a lot. Whatever. And then this last weekend, I found at an estate sale a vintage granny sweater that's kind of like, it was holiday, though. $3, 50% off. <laughs> $3? Yeah. I was so mad at myself. I came home mad. I was mad at you. I know. Spending money I was mad like at myself. That. He was okay to be mad at me that day, because I was mad at myself. <laughs> Spending all kinds of money on old shit. It's, it's, it's quality. Is it? Yeah, like this is thrifted. Oh no, this is from the vintage shop, but we got this at a decent price. I mean, that's pretty much thrifting. Yeah, yeah. Spent cool. Spent Studios in Capitol Hill, Seattle. Go check them out. Next to the coffee bookstore or coffee, the uh, bookstore with the cats. Yeah, the bookstore with the cats. They got some weird shit out there. They very like hipster. I love it. Very like um. They're very different. They're very uh. What's 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 what's, 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 what's very progressive. Mm-hmm. Very progressive. That's why I can see myself living out there because I feel like we would find something different to do. Like, like you know how we go to coffee shops every Sunday. I feel like we'd find something like you know unique you're, and different to do. You know what you're doing to San Diego? What you're doing? What a lot of guys do to some women or some girls do to guys. Why is that? Like the things you want to do with that other city, uh-huh. you can do here. Yeah, yeah. So I can find a cat bookstore here. I can find a cat bar. <laughs> That's it. You don't even know. You haven't even looked. I bet some shoes right now. I need you to go on TikTok and be like, San Diego things are doing. I bet you it'll be like, oh my God, I didn't know. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, you're the one to talk. <laughs> Yesterday we were in North Park area. I said, oh, babe, I swear on TikTok, I saw like these people trying to say like North Park is low key like Seattle. <laughs> Fuck that. No, it's not, babe. Where you here? Not North Park, Hillcrest. No. Nah. I would believe if you said Hillcrest, not nah. North Park. He was trying to say Seattle was better. Don't don't get him yeah, twisted. The fuck? I would definitely leave this. Okay, then Seattle. what's what's the problem with me then? I would huh? I would I think that there's something new to do all the time in Seattle, like unique stuff. Because we don't live there. Yeah. I bet you after one year you'd be like, This is boring. No. Let's go to somewhere else. No. San Diego, I'm in San Diego. Oh no, well Washington is cheaper too, so I it's wouldn't be I really wouldn't be What complaining. was cheaper? Nothing. Huh? Wasn't that cheap? If we lived outside of the city, yeah. And were the bums? Hmm? Mm. Or the crime rate is through the roof? Oh, same as here. No, it's not, bro. We, bro, we, live, we live in the homeless section, babe. Stop saying that, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Penthouse with the skyline view? Get oh, out of here, bro. God. 
No, you didn't. You a hater, Stop bro. saying you that. You a hater, Because when bro. you get people to come in here, be your and guest. And they see the skyline. What's up? Oh, my God. They saw you, you lied, bro. You said this was a penthouse. Ain't no way. What's a penthouse? A penthouse the is top just floor, a big... right? No, the top floor. You take up the whole row. Top floor. We take a section. Top floor. Nah, 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 fam. You're a hater, you bro. You crazy. We got elevator. That's how many floors. All the future up. guests, my apologies. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be hating. Shout out to everybody who's been here. Yep. Y'all the vibe. As fuck. As fuck. As fuck. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, shout out to Rui. Oh, if you don't remember yeah. Rui Montilla. The comedian. We went to his show had, Friday I night. I had him on the podcast last year. That sounds a long time ago, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, we went to his he his hour long stand up. That shit was fire. That was so shout good. Shout out to Rui. Funny he recognized shit. me from the pod. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Yeah, I seen you on the, you watched your episodes. We're like, oh there you go. <laughs> Gabby was there. Shout out to Gabby. Yeah, shout out to Gabby. Man. Yeah. She got a man. I'm exposing her. She got a man. No, Get out I, the inbox. Gabby got a man. Loki didn't want to like take up her attention on her date. So she was waving. I'm all like, oh hi. And then <laughs> I saw she was having her convo. I said, You go ahead, girl. She got a man now. Go, go off if queen. You remember Gabby? If you listen to the podcast, you remember Gabby. She's a vibe. She got a man. Don't inbox her. <laughs> oh, now you cock blocking as well. Yeah, she got a man. Respect that king, girl. Ooh. Respect the king. She gonna come at you. Right? She's gonna be like, what the fuck? The God? fuck you exposed me for, Jonah? I ain't going nowhere with you no more. <laughs> Speaking of exposing, I'm mad at your best friend. Which one? Tierra. Um. You fake as fuck, Tierra. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I know I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. For those who wonder, she's locked up. She's nah, jail. she ain't locked up. Might as well be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> she moved far, far south. No, I'm kidding. Far, far south. Far, 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 far east. Remember the pest? The pest? Oh, the movie with John Luisiamo. I haven't seen it. Oh. Never spot, mind. Man. He's from the nights from the nineties. I goes, know which movie it is. He's I like, all my family it. from far, far south. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not gonna talk about football because oh, tis tragic. Hearts are broken. Our hearts are broken. Right, don't bring it up. I know we ain't gonna talk about the Niners no more till when September. I don't want to talk about. It. I'm training. mad at them right now. So training camp. We're not, we're not on speaking terms. I even unfollowed yeah. them on Instagram. Oh, you're not a real fan. I'm mad at them. That's not much of a fan. You I really am. unfollowed them? Yeah, I'm mad at them. <gasps> you're tragic. I removed them as a friend. Wow. <laughs> Imagine removing somebody from a friend that you don't even talk to. I know. <laughs> I haven't seen none of it. What breaks my heart is I haven't uh, seen nothing from the players. You didn't get the shade? Huh? All right, that's fine. Oh, yeah. All right. No, I caught it. I just don't. Uh, but how about unfollowing me and I don't notice for a month? <laughs> I'm over here like, so watch our next sneaker and coffee review. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine not liking us and we're over here. Imagine not liking us and us over here checks drinking on the lot. wine and having a fucking pod living our life. <laughs> Anyways, I ain't going to take up too much time. I appreciate you guys listening. Oh, because we got a big dinner right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sorry I didn't drop one last week. You probably don't care. Back to regularly scheduled program. I got some cool guests lined up. Sure um, do. So not ah! not this one. <laughs> <laughs> She's whatever. Um, thank you, babe. Thank you, my lovely wife. Thank you, my loving husband who forgot from, to wear his ring for the pod. But I've worn them. They've seen it. They've seen it on the other pod. Ah, uh, yeah. If you <laughs> watch YouTube, he's wearing it. Um, he from, loves me. <laughs> He walks with me. He walks with me. Okay, we're going to stop fucking around. I'm really hungry, so we're going to go make dinner. Um, <clears throat> from can I get a dance? I don't want to know your name to... Will you be my wife? Will you be my wife to I do? Ooh. No, what was that quote? I'm a quote Oh, Jonah. I want to say this real quick. If you were single uh-huh. in this day and age, mm-hmm. where would you want to be hit on? Where? Yeah. The bookstore. The, that was on my list. Yeah, the bookstore. Yes, it worked out for us meeting at the club, right? And and are and our, and our best friends. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't always happen, right? No, we can agree on that. If you don't like to party, meeting somebody at the club, there's no no go. Right? Yeah, I think car washes, the bookstore, Trader Joe's. 
Well, if you're grocery shopping too, yeah. I think that's where you meet just regular folk, not people who are trying to be seen. Yeah. You know, like those like those girls who are trying to be seen or those dudes who are trying to be seen in the VIPs and shit. Yeah. Those are probably not the people you want. Right. Especially not this day and age. Everybody's a fuck boy or a fuck girl. So like if you're going I think if you're gonna hit on somebody, go out on a Friday or Saturday evening mm-hmm. to like a bookstore, Trader Joe's, your local grocery store. What's the other what's the other uh big one? You can't meet people at a state Whole house Foods. Too. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> what you're like browsing through or vintage, you huh? know? If you like vintage. So you're at I mean, I would, yeah. Let me find out you, what, you found somebody? Wow. Now I'm going with you. Yeah, he was a ginger. Face <laughs> FaceTime from now on. Period, King. Um, but yeah, anyways. Hope you guys find your lucky somebody. Whether it be at the club or the library, we never judge. Because yeah. you know what? We met at the club and fuck everybody's opinions. And I hope you guys remember that. Jeez. All right. Until next time. Deuce. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you looking for me, you can find me at the spot Chopping it up with Jonah, we talking about what's hot on the block Up in Dago, man, we bumping, uh, keeping it confidential You know this how we coming, we in front, uh, looking for that real Better tune in and stick by, put on for the city Every time that I dip by, uh, get into that gritty Every time that we sit down, promise you it's real Every time that I get round, come on <laughs> Been in the field, playing, we working